my thought process to you guys. Make sure I'm not muted. Alright, I'm not muted. Let me just go with Scuttle Puddle. I recommend you guys choose things that you feel comfortable with. Scuttle Puddle gets picked so often you can feel fine. One thing to note now though, when you're going Scuttle Puddle, people are going to be going for the Arcane like Rise. Not Arcane Rise, but um, Arcane Varus, things like that. The much more expensive boards, you have to hit 2 star 4 costs. Probably going to be a lot of Persevere, Gwen Fiora. You know, because a lot of those uh, units are 12 gold over like uh, 3 gold. Um, 3 gold unit, right? Alright. There's nothing we can't do together. Alright, we got kind of a trash opener here. We have no directions so far. We have a BF sword. Okay. All you really want this set is either attack speed or... Yeah, that's about it. Um, you can go. I'm gonna buy this whole shop here and start setting up for pairs. BF sword, we could kind of play multi-strikers leaning into Hecarim. The issue is everybody plays Hecarim right now for Arcane, so you can't ever get them three-starred ever in the game anymore. Okay, Sojin isn't too bad. Hit the early shiv. Against any weapon, any army, any one, I remain unmatched. We'll figure it out, boys. All right. We hit the Seraphine upgrade. Already kind of have the jacks for the fairy board, right? It feels kind of bad, because just this one upgrade here already kind of wants to make you go fairies. Um, not the best items for fairies, though, right? Um, you can just buy these. It's not going to hurt you, right? I mean, we could try to make 10 gold, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. I mean, we could make 10 gold here. I don't, I just don't. And we're going to make 10. So sometimes here you would debate and just hold on to things. That way you can make a better decision. So Lilia and Tristana. So this instantly gives us our one out, right? This we could choose bow. Where you'd be fishing for bow or like a thief's gloves. Slamming isn't too bad, but we're already committing to like some early items. Let's see what these other goons are picking. One guy chose slam. I mean, that guy's just insta instantly going fairies. Oh, we don't give a, like, a F. Um, it's kind of decent. I don't think you can go wrong with slamming, right? Oh, well. Oh, God. Oh? Uh? Nah, I don't think we made the wrong decision here, boys. It can go like this, like this. I mean, our board's pretty trash. Um, what's going to be our front line here? We have a pair... Really don't got a front line. It doesn't matter. This guy's open fort right now, right? So if we go these items, you're really kind of just limited to rise or zigs, right? Just take this free charm. Or the bastion unit. We could always just reforge them, but we had to slam something, right? Okay, um... And it's an instant pivot here. Don't want to sell her because she's an upgraded unit, right? So kapow, kapow. And now we're chilling, dude. We don't even have to roll for XP. Oh, bro. You want to hit Seraphine on that big fat dia uh, diagonal? You want to refresh all this? You want to come here, do, 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 do. This homie. This homie, and then his last one, or right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're never gonna make it beyond this anyways, because you're gonna slow roll and just never hit anything. So that's so that's some good news. Now, what are the things that we're gonna be looking for here? We're gonna be looking for static shiv. I see. Um. It's important to make gold interest, and you really do have to kind of pick and choose. 
what you're rolling for when you play this comp. Magic goes in, I think you just buy them. I think there's a world here where you sell one of the Jaxes and just say it comes back to you. Um, but I think when you have Galio pair here, you can't ignore Galio, right? And we're just going to get a lot of XP just through slamming to where a lot of our gold, we don't really have to even focus on this XP bar. A lot of it just has to be about making gold interest and uh, rolling at level 7 for the 40% odds because they increased it from 35% a few sets ago. Big thing is we need to get Jewel Gauntlet on him because if he does not crit, we're going to have a bad time, right? Also, we're going to have to be buying charms where we can. The difference between getting like first and another position in the entire game is if you're rolling for charms. No one seems to be contesting me. We could grab the Galio for the Negatron and upgrade. From here, we're really going to want to try to focus on tank items. Want to at least get um, Titan's Resolve, right? Titan's Resolve and then the uh, Large Rod and Chain combined item. Right? Just do this right now. I don't think we're doing too bad. Some of these boards are giga strong though. I I don't think I can do this because it, it might reforge my Seraphine. I'm not gonna coin flip that for reforging the jacks just to mid max and get this guy an extra two AP. No thank you. Bro, what is is this Shivana signed by a team or something? Okay. Oh, board's dead. That's fine. Not really. I lend my aid. Something like this, right? For the meanwhile. Just always presenting your strongest board. I just think getting five mage out there, get a ton of AP, you're not going to be doing too bad. Now, we can't... I don't... Usually you just follow standard leveling and try to stabilize, or you just open sack these early um, boards. But I didn't know what direction I have. It's not like I got an early orb with a Vigar and a Vex out of it, right? Like, this dude's uber rich. Zillion's kind of a busted unit too. Issue is, is uh, we have to, we can't usually sell the Perseverers to make a uh, gold interest. But I don't think we have to worry about that though. We're gonna be so rich because I scuttle this game. This guy's hundred streaking. I don't even know what he's playing here, based off what he's holding on to. Maybe it's Cassiopeia reroll with like shapeshifters. I don't know. Uh, Probably Karma Flex with these items. Yes, that was a banana. <laughs> no one expects. Bro, it it'll, it'll come back. I don't care. I ain't about to not be making fifty interest this whole game. Um, this seems like fine slams. And I wonder, did we just start rolling here on six? Like, what are we going to be rolling for? J just seeing if we can hit this 25%. I don't know about that one, man. Doesn't seem like the proper thing to do. Yeah. 
Actually, it might just be, uh... We just roll for the charm every turn, right? We just roll and hit that, uh, combat charm every turn, and if you hit the, um... Vexes or the Vigars, you're- you're happy. And you just keep funneling AP into him. Um... This seems really good to go with what we got going on here, right? What is it? Oh, let's go. I lend my aid. Bro, we're actually having um some good odds here. I would have liked to have a gargoyle, but you know beggars can't be choosers. And then I guess we just keep next combat we're gonna gain another four. Just gonna keep rolling, at least until we hit this upgrade. Let's see if we can hit a Vax, get a charm. We're not gonna roll beyond the charm though, because we're just gonna try to get a lot of AP into the dude. And we are going to need a static or an ionic, so maybe that was a bad slam to do, but is what it is. Three gold ain't too bad. See how big of a difference the damage amp is once you hit the um dual gauntlet though. He does have a uh, Bramble, though, which prevents critical strikes, I believe, or unless they change that. Bro, why is this Gunblade just healing this guy, like, so dang much? That's insane. Actually, not the worst charm to get, man. Do I just go for Seraphine 3? Do I just go for all of these 3? So we have 28. This will be... Another 4. Be at 24. I know it seems bad not to, like, level up, but... If not, we're not having a gold augment really work for us at all here. Also, you could probably hit like a Vex 2 or a Vigar 2 here on 6 and stabilize. But we are struggling along. I mean, we really don't ever have to leave level 7, so don't gotta be in a rush rush, right? So, what are we looking for here? Probably a Negatron Cloak. So this. That way we can get that on her. And then whatever tank item we can make out of that. Bro, of course. Um, I think we just take the bow here because we can make a static out of it, right? Or any other type of um AP item here. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like banana. Imagine if I had a real weapon. Do I ever just level up here? Oh well. At least now we're rolling on 7. Oh, let's see if we could get an easy uh, Vex 2 here with those double free refreshes. This is a blunder, bro, if I don't buy this. I'm, but I'm, I'm not doing it, man. Be mad at me all you want. I'm not buying it. Dude, come on. Make my life a little bit easier here, dude. That's giving me all the mage units, too. 
I'm never making it to the higher tier mage. Probably do something like this though, right? If we win, we can double sell here. I could have just sold the jacks though, right? Not hitting a Vigar too right now though feels like really low roll. Bro, how's this Vi how's this um Vigar just not pumping out any damage, man? Homie's got five mage, three items. Homie's got a few charms in him. I get something like this, right? Uh it might not even be a... Might not even be her then. It might be her instead of Seraphine. Bro, what are these items, man? They're not, like, bad. I mean, okay, I guess. We hit the Ionic. This is anti-heal. I mean, this ain't the worst. I don't think we can roll for Bard as well. So it just starts getting way too expensive, right? Bro, my team got deleted, man. That was even with the Bramble versus Blaster stuff. My board's gone. I'm gonna hit Galio 3 before I hit Vex or Vigor 2. Hmm. Hmm. This is tough, dude. That's actually really good. Yikes. I mean, we're just in some... <clears throat> we're hitting some low-roll shit here right now. I don't even know how to put that any other way, but... It's all good. Not really. We are going to get a free level 8 out of this, though. And then I think we just tech in like a guardian or something. Probably Tom Kent's uh, Ari if we ever get to that. Oh, yikes. This game's probably an L. But I mean, I can't not just keep rolling for these things. Hmm. So you're gone now. You're gone. Oh, this guy's gonna hit me with the, the Jace assassination attempt. I'm gonna either move right into it or I'm gonna... I don't know. We'll see what's up. I don't think I'm playing this bad, I just think... I think if I had a Vigar 1, 
or Viger too, at least these fights would be a little bit closer. I don't think I'm supposed to roll deep for it either. Um, already have anti heal. Probably, eh. It seems fine. Everybody else is like got their two star four costs. This guy's popping lava is crazy. The thing too is nobody's even contesting me. So this goes to show you, nobody's even holding vexes. Nobody's even holding vigars. None. None, 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 none. Ooh, thank you, video game. Don't spoil me now. Oh, now we're just start getting them back to back. Game's feeling a little guilty. I get, I bet. Um, something like this, something like this. I think we can make it through the next two. Combats and not be completely dead. What's our charm? First thing to die explodes. Okay. Galio is a big stabilizer. Thing is, there is a lot of portal players this game. You'll see Vigar 2 actually pumps a lot of damage. I also think this guy's pretty weak. We bought nine charms. So he's at 18 AP. We're doing the dang thing, boys. Hmm. Bro. This game sucks. Look at this. Look at this. If I hit any of these, I could double Nico the uh, Vigar here. Or, uh, or Nico the Vex, right? Why am I locking this shop? That was kind of an emotional roll there, but I feel like if I hit any of these, I could just double Nico. And now I'm one life instead of absolutely deleting this guy. I mean, if I just don't hit one of these now, the game sucks, but I... I'm kind of max grading here. I mean, it's no guarantee that I hit my three star carries now. I mean, we'll get a big gold injection here. I can probably hit one. But eventually, you do gotta roll the gold, boys. Being a ghost is so cool. Uh, can't choose that combat augment. Okay. This place is so getting hit. So that's good. Um something like this. Bam, bam. Hey man, we'll go double ionic, whatever. Do we Nico the Seraphine here, though? That's the question. I haven't got combat augment this late into the game, though. Feels really bad. Vigar one time for the one time. I mean, we are pretty strong now, boys. We are pretty strong. You kind of want to have your Zillion always in the center, so he just keeps bombing their main tank, but... I don't know. 
where the correct place to put this Vigar is because the, these Fiora's can dash weirdly, these other units can just dash weirdly. I don't think we're going to take 18 here. Um, we should be looking for a um, Vanguard though, right? Oh, that was close. That's a good charm. I guess you kind of want to... I guess you kind of want to stagger these. That way, like, these blaster guys don't just blow up your whole board. I got enough to just level here. Maybe the Vigar just dies here from the Fiora Dash, I'm unsure. Or maybe the Camille Hook. Oh bro, do that Camille. Bro, Rakan too, by the way, man. Oh my god. It's just Rakan too, dude. I think that says something about the uh, balance of the game right now, not gonna lie to ya. Very. We can drop this. If we find a rise, we could get Scholar and Portal. But I think also seven mage shears also a move. I don't even know if we have all the charms. Oh, dude, this is so bad. And Yumi, and you're warm. Um. Do I care about sugar craft? Not really. Oh, he actually got a real uh, combat augment and I didn't, so GG. Especially if it's Tremors here, I just lose the game. Seven mage here would be gargantuan for us. If we can hit one, um, I don't know. Chrono's really big for that vac seal and holding the door, isn't it? Um, I mean that's not gonna help me in combat, dude. These aren't golden by now. Makes sense. Why would they be? That make way too much sense. Do something like this, right? I actually think I don't know. You share the AP with the Gar, so I think it's proper to have in the Namzi. Also, or also it gives him like healing. Sometimes you want to have like a gunblade on your Vex. Also, I think having healing here is, like, really big. We just have the DPS to be able to get through this guy here. Oh, of course he lives. Okay. So now the question is... Is it this... Or is it this, dude? That, that's the question. Because, I mean, this is pretty strong. Seven mage. 
I mean, we're either gonna we're either gonna blow them up or they're gonna blow us up, right? Oh, now we're getting free Vigars. We need to actually get like a real combat augment for this fight. Game's kind of sucking right now. Yep. We already have enough shred. I mean, whatever, dude. Here you go, Nora. Today's your day, girl. Watch out for us. Hopefully, Seven Mage does the dang thing. Her shield's gotta be bigger if she just insta dies. We don't have any chrono here, shield here, but I mean. Issue was last fight we couldn't get through the um Rakan, right? We could do it this time though. Let's go. But he hit that tremors on us, that's illegal. We talked to him about that before. Now this guy's going for a three star four cost on us. So I can't really do much about that except for trying to fish for some Rakans here, boys. But you already know. I got this unlocked. I, I don't fumble these, dude. I never fumble these a day in my life. Nah, but I'm pretty sure I lose. This guy's board's uh, gonna be bussin'. But what I will say is... I actually got a lot of AP on this, homie. 15 charms. Ooh, doing 1200 damage and ulti. I mean, as long as they want to keep letting this diagonal be... Like, as long as the Seraphine, she's doing a thousand damage, and, um... I mean, if they're fine with that every single time... Oh god, dude. The Brer don't play. Is what a nail biter.